During my early years, um, when I wasn't in school and doing other things, I was working in the shop. Um, so I learned to be a pretty good sewing machine mechanic uh, as a, an early teenager, 13, 14, 15, and my father always used to send me out to, to jobs to fix sewing machines, and, uh, which, which would surprise the clients quite a bit when I would show up, you know, a beardless youth, uh, <laughs> to do this. Uh, but I liked those machines, and I've always, I've always liked working with tools, uh, still do. And, and so that was, a, that was a lot of fun. Um, I, uh, I attended public schools, uh, Lakewood Junior High School, which is now um, gone, uh, and Lakewood High School. Sometime during my um, junior year, it became fairly clear to me that, um, that I actually wasn't doing very much. Um, the schools w were not terrible, but, um, but uh, I didn't have a lot of interest in, in uh, in what was going on there, and it, I didn't find it terribly challenging. I, at the time, I thought very much that, um, that I might grow up to be a writer. I mean, that, I was interested in that. And, um, and so sometime during my junior year, I decided, well, you know, there really was not much point in staying around in high school. Maybe I should just try to go to college. So I applied to three colleges um, and uh, to Reed College in Portland, Oregon, to Harvard, and to Bard College, Annandale and Hudson, New York. And um, I, I didn't actually know anything about these colleges at all, and neither of my parents really had been to college. Um, my father had gone briefly for a year, but the Depression intervened and et cetera, so it didn't work. Um, so uh, uh, Harvard said, well, you know, you should wait and apply, you know, later. And Bard accepted me and Reed accepted me, and I decided to go to read because I liked the picture on the cover of the annual report. It was a picture of a dog, it, you know, it was terrific. Anyway, so I went to read. I, uh, I arrived there, 16 years old, uh, first time ever, had never seen the campus, had never been to Portland, Oregon, just arrived there. Um, and uh, I, as I've said in some other uh, contexts, if the measure of an education is the extent to which it changes one, um, I got a pretty darn good education because it changed me completely. So I arrived at Reed College imagining that I wanted to be a writer, perhaps I wanted to be a poet. It was, you know, it was extremely romantic. Uh, you know, I had all of these poems that I'd produced and pasted up on the walls. They were dreadful. Uh, and, um, and while I was there, my interest in in physical things and in working with tools gradually translated into an interest in science and I moved progressively through the curriculum from literature to philosophy to science soft and hard uh, so that by the time I graduated I was more chemist and physicist than I was anything else uh, and that was my real interest. Um, at the same time, though, I had become interested in the idea of, um, of biomedical research, even though I really didn't understand what was involved in it. I, there, there was no background in that in my family, certainly. And uh, you know, my, my sisters had gone to college, and uh, my eldest sister had pursued graduate work. Uh, but I really had no idea of what it meant to be a researcher or that one could actually make a living doing that. Uh, and uh, it, it happened for, um, for whatever reason that uh, I, I had applied to medical schools and there was an interviewer who came from Washington University in St. Louis who was, um, who was really a terrific, terrific guy, a cardiologist, but a man with broad interests. And I began talking with him about some work that I was thinking about uh, in the physics department, which had to do with the way in which snowflakes form. And um, this was, I mean, this is, a, is of some interest because, as we know, every snowflake is different one from the other, and yet they're symmetrical, and how do you form these very different symmetrical structures, and there is actually a mathematics behind it, um, which, you know, is sort of interesting. And he thought that was pretty interesting, too, and we hit it off right away, and I suspect, for one reason or another, that, that interview having gone as well as it did resulted in my being admitted to Washington University in St. Louis, 
another place that I had never visited and knew absolutely nothing about, um, and had no sense of what the middle of the country was like, certainly what it was like to live in a southern state. Um, no sense at all. 